I drew a file recently for somebody who was is just learning how to use his plasma cam table, and this is my fault. I made a rookie mistake on this. Uh, if you look at the uh, design here, which is the finished cut, uh, there are little holes at the top of the sign and uh, a couple down by the A and the R at the bottom of the sign. He was wondering why those holes were there. I'm going to explain why those holes are there, how to find them, and how to get rid of them. This is the file uh, that I sent to him. Um, I took a, a drawing that he had and basically drew it here. And then I uh, cleaned it up a little bit here uh, to make it a solid plaque. And then here I came up with what I called the final design. And I sent this to him. And it is my fault. Um, I made a rookie mistake. I'm going to delete this and delete these because they aren't important. This is the file that we're working with right here. I'll press F5 to bring it up to full screen. And you'll notice that when you, uh, or when you look at it, it looks like everything is correct. You don't see any anomalies or anything unusual around these letters. Nothing visible to the naked eye. However, as I've said before in other videos, before you cut anything, and this is my mistake, before you cut anything, what you should do is you should say view select. And by choosing, I have, I now have open paths and closed paths, okay? Uh, I can choose the open and closed or, uh, you know, or both. But basically it's listing all of the paths here that make up this design. And you'll notice that none of them are selected at the moment. Now, if I were to select this path, for instance, you can see that it lights up green. That tells me that that's path and that's the path and it's part of the design. This path here is part of the design. This one here is part of the design. However, by going to view select, which I forgot to do in this drawing, the very first thing I know I notice here is that there are a whole lot of two node paths with a length of zero inches, which means they're so small, you can't see them with the naked eye. So if I select those by dragging my, holding my mouse and dragging it down until I get to all of the zeros right here, and then I close, what I do is I select all of those paths. You can't see them, but I selected all of them. And that's the, that's these little things that are making these holes in the sign. I'll show you again. If I view select and I pick, oops, F5. If I pick um, another design uh, like this one here, you can see that that is the path that that refers to. Now when I close, I am, uh, I have that path highlighted because that's the one I clicked on in the view select list. I can delete it or I can uh, rotate it or I can scale it or whatever I want to do. But that's how you select these individual paths. Okay. So we have all of these paths with a length of zero. That tells me these are little little anomalies where something was either copied or trimmed or whatever. And it left things that are so small that you can't see them with the human eye. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to close this path here because I left it open. I'll say X with my trim extend tool, trim that down, right click and say join. And that now becomes a closed path. Okay. So the torch will cut that out just fine. But I, I want to get rid of all of those little anomalies that are putting holes in the pattern. So what I'm going to say is view select. And then all of these length, paths that are a length of zero. These are just little tiny things that the computer sees, but you can't see it with your eyes. I'm going to select them, close. Now presumably they're all selected even though I can't see them. And I'm going to press delete. Well, now look what happens. If I say view select again, you'll notice that the first shortest path, because I've, I've 
selected path length here. This is how I want to list the paths by path length. The shortest path now is 0.377 inches. And you can see that that's this path right here. See it? Right there. So I could take all of these paths here. These are the shortest paths in the design. And click close. And you'll see that all of those paths are highlighted because those are the ones I picked out of the list. Well, those are part of the design, so they don't need to be altered or removed or duplicated or whatever. So now I know that this design here is free of the little anomalies that will cause the torch as you're cutting out the letters. Suddenly the torch will move over here and punch a hole through the material. And it's like, oh, why did it do that? Well, it's because it saw those little points, those little zero thousandths of an inch points in the design, and it cut them. It went over and it pierced the material and cut them. You see that? There they are at the top, and here they are at the bottom, by the A and the R. So that's my fault, my fault. I made a mistake on this. I have corrected the file and sent the correct file back to uh, Travis to go ahead and, and cut it again. And the correct file now, if I select the entire design and say D, detect intersections, there are zero intersections, so we know that that's good. And also, if I view select, you'll see that the shortest path in the design is 0.377 close this window and that's one of these curves that creates the rope effect around this ring. So I know that there are no paths smaller than that in this design, nowhere that the torch is going to go over and attempt to cut something that's not supposed to be there. It's important to do that for every, every time you, you cut out a design. Uh, if you have a couple of designs, let's say we have, uh, I'll take this and um, uh, I'll copy it. Well, whatever. Uh, I'll just draw a design over here and draw a design over here. Okay, you got a couple of designs, right? Now you can say, all right, we're looking at this one right here. View select. And you'll see that the only ones that are lit up blue are the ones involved in the army's design and the other paths are not lit up because that's the um, square and the circle. You see that? There's the square and there's the circle. So now everything here is lit up. The square and the circle are not lit up and therefore they don't show up as blue lines here. So that's important to do. I'm going to delete these two. Uh, I'll press F5 and I'm going to say file save as and I'm going to go back into the file and say new army logo PCM save and of course I've done this before so I'm just saving it again but now we have a design that will cut correctly on the plasma cam table without any oopses such as these Going into 2023, I'm going to maintain my policy of offering free online training via Zoom. You can send your name, address, phone number, tell me about your um, uh, computer, your software, your upgrades, etc. Send it to adminow at mail.com. Not gmail, but mail.com. And um, I will get back with you and tell you how we can connect our computers together over the internet through a Zoom meeting room. Uh, it will cost you nothing, uh, but once we get our two computers uh, hooked together, or three or five computers, if you want to get some friends together, that's fine. We can do it in a group. It doesn't matter to me. I don't charge for that. I do this free online. I do it for fun. Um, I will help you to learn how to find errors like this, uh, like the error that I made in this design, and how to correct it so that it isn't a problem in the future. Um, so send your information to this email address and I'll be happy to uh, get back with you and do some free online training so you can get better at using Design Edge. 
Uh, I hope we have a great 2023. Try and keep your sanity in all of the madness that is about to come. Uh, trust me, it's about to come. <laughs> so tr just just try and uh, keep your sanity because it's we're, we've got some really rough times coming at us here in the near future. I hope you've enjoyed this video.